begin with breaking news. And that breaking news, a deadly police shooting investigation near Sacramento City College. Police saying it all unfolded at a nearby light rail station. The moments after the shooting played out on police scanners. Take a listen. 43, we have shots fired, one down. Please start medical code three. Shots fired, that's the camera officer speak. So we are now five hours into this investigation after the shooting happened with a live look at the scene right now. You can still see there is a police presence out there as this investigation continues. This is where the light rail station where this all happened. Police are not revealing a lot of information still even five hours later, but we do know that no officers have been hurt. Now this is all happening at the light rail station next to Hughes Stadium and the Sacramento City College parking structure. KCR Ray 3's Orko Mana is live at that location right now. So Orko, what's the latest? Well, Andrea, we're actually standing inside the Sacramento City College parking structure to give you a better view of the scene here. If you take a look behind me, we can see several Sacramento police officers still here investigating this shooting that killed one person. We can also see a light rail train that officers seem to be focusing on. Police have been out here for hours, and earlier tonight, we want to show you some video where we we're seeing several more officers on scene investigating what happened. Sacramento police say they got multiple calls around five o'clock tonight about a person holding a knife on a light rail train. Officers found the person along 24th Street near the City College light rail station right by Hughes Stadium. They say that person was still holding the knife. Police say during their interaction, officers shot the person at least once. That person died and no officers were hurt. Officers rendered first aid until fire personnel arrived on scene. Despite fire personnel's efforts, the subject was pronounced deceased on scene. I'm back out here live right now. There are still a lot of questions here, including who the person holding the knife was and whether or not that person was specifically threatening people with that knife, including police officers. We're told that the homicide unit as well as the internal affairs division are out here on scene investigating this, and we do expect police body camera footage of the shooting to be released within the next 30 days. Reporting live in Sacramento tonight, Orca Man, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, we're going to learn a lot more as the day go on. Orco, thank you for that update.